About noon, a call goes out. This house is on fire. Homeowner Janet Lorian says it started in one of her granddaughter's bedrooms. Within minutes, the firefighters are on the scene. Firefighters quickly douse the flames. Everyone gets out of the house on their own except for Sandy, the youngest member of the family, this two-year-old Chihuahua. Fireman Drew Peterson of Winter Park Volunteer Fire Department carries Sandy to the truck and begins mouth to mouth. He and Sandy get plenty of encouragement. Slowly but steadily, the life comes back to Sandy's eyes. After a few quick breaths of oxygen, Sandy is handed over to her mama, Janet Lorian. It's okay. Keep that right there just like that, okay? Yeah. I'm so grateful. I thank God for these firemen that would care enough for a dog. Because she's like a human to me. She's one of my kids. I'm just glad the dog lives. If you know, if that's the only piece of the lady's family that's left, I'm glad I could help. But I sure don't feel like a hero to hear the guys that got there before I didn't put the fire out and got the dog. I just did what my job. This is Sandy here. Her owners say she's a little shook up and she definitely has a wheeze in her breath, but she's gonna be all right. There were four dogs in the house today. One of them didn't make it, but thanks to a heroic firefighter today, Sandy's gonna make it. Back to you. On Wednesday, when fire broke out in a home in what began as a fire turned into a doggy rescue and, and now a media a frenzy. Gave Sandy and her savior Drew on the Today Show. Cute little dog, it is now 707. Let's now turn to Katie Lester. And the firefighter and Sandy had their first date tonight, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, that's very nice. That's not all. CNN is airing the story coast to coast repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what was that dog thinking when he came to? Yeah, it's like, oh my, this is a bad dream. Oh, look, there's Mama. And they're trying to give How a little dog. How do you put a gas mask on a dog? It's bigger than the dog. It's little doggy oxygen. That is so cute. You know I love those yeah, dog stories. I know stories. you love the dog stories. <laughs> News organizations have contacted me, and I've seen myself on national TV shows. I, I really don't know why. Um, I really didn't do anything other than my job. Drew may be the only one who doesn't think he's a hero. Sandy's mom, Janet Lorian, remains his number one fan. I'm going to thank the fireman. I just can't believe he did it. I'm so happy that he did. As for Sandy, she doesn't bark much, so it's hard to tell what she makes of all this. Both of them are here with us tonight from Wilmington, along with Sandy. A local firefighter turns national hero before an audience of millions. Winter Park volunteer firefighter Drew Peterson and the dog's owner Janet Larian speak candidly with Connie Chung on CNN. Did you think about it for half a second before you launched into this mouth to snout? I, I really didn't. Um, <laughs> it just needed to be done, so I. Try to help her out the best I could. At the Winter Park Fire Station, Peterson's co workers greeted his appearance with chuckles <laughs> and later praise. Just funny to see him on TV. He, um, Drew's a funny guy. He's always cutting up, and it's just kind of funny to see him on TV um, being serious. He could have loosened up a little bit on the TV. He looked like he was too tight, but other than that, Drew is, uh, he's done very well for everything that's uh, going on. He's acted very professional and mature, and we're really proud of him for what he's doing. The video captured by News 6 is now the talk of the nation. The buzz fueled early this morning by NBC's The Today Show. <laughs> Cute little dog. It is now 707. Let's now turn to Katie Lester. Now. The firefighter and Sandy had their first date tonight, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That's very nice. Okay. But that's not it. CNN broadcasts the story coast to coast several times throughout the day. You know I love those yeah, dog stories. I know stories. you love the dog stories. <laughs> 
And as the nation watches this Wilmington firefighter breathe life into a dog, Peterson remains in awe of his overnight celebrity status. He's the only one who's not yet convinced he's a hero. These pictures took the nation by storm, appearing on the Today Show and CNN. Firefighter Drew Peterson of the Winter Park Volunteer Fire Department says he was just doing his job when he breathed life into this little pup named Sandy, but his owner, Janet Larian, says he's a hero. Six months later, and the two say they have tried to go back to their normal lives. I'll mark these with a straw. Larian has now opened a coffee shop in Carolina Beach called Magic Bean. She works here full time and is in the process of buying a house across the street. She says even here, the fame continues. I had a lot of people come in and say, I remember you. I remember that story. <laughs> they always want to know what Connie Chung was like. I said, well, I didn't really get to meet her. Sandy has recovered fully and is helping her owner keep up the magic bean. As for Drew Peterson, he is still fighting fires in the Wilmington area and trying to finish school. Well, I'm still uh, going to school. I'm trying to, to be a dentist, pre-med, between school and work and volunteering. I'm pretty busy and trying to go to the beach as much as possible and live a normal college life. Peterson said he's even done a little modeling for an agency in Chicago, but he says that's just a coincidence. No connection to this moment when he went mouth to snout.